A classic theological debate has to do with how a good and loving God could allow so much misery, pain, and suffering in our world. Many wonder why God doesn't do more to alleviate suffering and to promote happiness and well-being. He clearly should want to see the men and women He's created to be happy, and certainly He has the power to make that happen. Why doesn't He just do more to alleviate pain? to end racism, more to stop mass killings, more to put an end to cancer, more to relieve depression, more to cause people to turn to Jesus, more to hold marriages together. Why doesn't he just do more? People often talk about God's love and his power, but there is another attribute of God which few people who debate this question ever consider, and that is God's wisdom. Most people affirm that God is able to do anything and everything. But in one sense, that's not exactly true. It's his perfect wisdom that limits him and causes him to act in a very prescribed way. A fool has far more options than a wise man. Let's consider two men who work at the same company. They're both making about the same salary and living fairly comfortably. They're both married and have three children. One day, a thought rises in both their minds. Wouldn't it be neat to quit my job, leave my family, buy a motorcycle, and ride across America going from place to place, having all sorts of fun adventures and seeing places I've never seen before? So these two men have before them two options. One, continue working at their present job and support their family. Or two, quit their job, leave their family, and travel across America on a motorcycle. For the wise man, the latter option is rejected immediately. He has responsibilities, and he wisely recognizes that the price he'd have to pay for such adventures would be far too steep. But the foolish man doesn't consider these things. His mind becomes filled with fantasies about the glorious life he could have, contrasted with the dull life he's now living. He decides to buy that motorcycle and leave his family. The wiser we are, the less options we allow ourselves. Wise men and women always steer toward wise choices. And since there are infinitely more foolish things we could do than wise ones, a wise person's choices are quite limited. God, the creator of heaven and earth, is perfect wisdom. He always chooses exactly the wisest, most prudent, and best plans for our world and for each of us individually. This means that what He does for us and what He does not do both spring out of the wellspring of His perfect wisdom as well as His great love. The ultimate answer to the question of why God doesn't do more is found in the simple truth of the wisdom of God. Because God is love, He wants to intervene in our lives for good. Because He's omnipotent, He's able to intervene. But because He's wise, He plays by certain rules which govern the measure and the nature of His interventions. God is doing as much in your life and as much for your good as He wisely can. If His wisdom would allow Him to do one more thing for you, then what He's presently doing, He would surely do it. In some cases, the reason He doesn't do more for us has everything to do with us. For example, the Bible tells us you have not because you ask not. And then, in certain situations, God's love overrules our requests. We may be asking for something which will eventually hurt us, and He wisely withholds the answer. Some of these are not so difficult to grasp, but there are a great many mysteries in this area that we'll never understand this side of heaven. Why did God do this? Why did He allow that? Why didn't He stop this? There are three things we must understand. One, God is good. Two, God is omnipotent. And three, God is wise. Shortly before Jesus was to go to the cross, he had a long prayer session with his Father. In his humanity, he asked if the cup might be removed from him. But it was not possible for Jesus to be spared the agony of the cross. If God was to be just and the one who justifies ungodly sinners like you and me, Jesus was going to have to be put to death on a cross. God's perfect wisdom demanded it and would allow no other options. God knew best. He always does.